I just got done watching all of the best picture nominees back to back to back to back to back to back. I'm so tired. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd, the B-Sides edition. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, we cover the new and trending topics in the same format as your Everyday Nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. It's Oscar season. No, not that Oscar. Those Oscars. You know, the ones that won't have a host this year? Well, that's okay, because I don't actually watch the Oscars anyways. Instead, as of last year, I watch every single Best Picture nominee because I want to know what people think are the best films of that year. This year's interesting, um, but we'll get into that soon, soon enough, because this year I will be doing another ranking of all eight Oscar and Best Picture nominees from worst to best, but before that, I want to take a look at each of them individually and not only determine whether I think it deserved a nomination, but actually talk about in depth what I like and don't like about them. The first one on the list is the Alfonso Cuaron written and directed Mexican drama Roma. Roma follows an entire year in the life of Cleo, a maid to a middle-class family in 1970 Mexico City. Throughout this year, we see changes that occur to the family, changes that occur to the city, but throughout all of it, the primary focus is entirely on Cleo and the changes that occur in her life. Now, up front, the entire first half of Roma is very, very slow. Not a lot happens at first. Keep in mind that this is an entire year that we're seeing played out throughout the film. While a lot can change in a year, all of this doesn't happen just overnight. So these changes do occur over time, and that's what we see here. Thankfully though, I wasn't entirely bored, because even though the plot was slow, the filmmaking aspects is what made me completely invested. The entire film is color corrected in black and white, which helped me distinguish the fact that this is taking place in 1970 and not yesterday. There are plenty of shots that were instantly gratifying. My favorite was where the camera would pan from right to left or left to right, following Cleo as she did her routine. She was always in the shot, but the set and the use of the camera showed the passage of time in a creative way, rather than just showing a woman doing chores with regular cuts. In general, Roma is very well directed. The cinematography is some of the best I've ever seen, and I love this aesthetic. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. When you look into the production of this film, it's very hard to believe that the main actress just recently graduated from a preschool education program and had no acting experience whatsoever. And yet, her acting in Roma felt so natural and as far as I was concerned, she was an A-list actress in Mexico. What's amazing is that the acting all across the board is pretty great. There wasn't an actor, including the kids, that I didn't for one second believe the role that they played. All of these technical aspects made for a film that would be talked about for a very long time. But it's not just the technicality of Roma that makes me consider this a masterpiece. Yeah, I do consider it a masterpiece because not only is the technicality great, but it's the emotional weight and impact that occurs over the course of this two hour and 15 minute runtime that really solidified it for me. Again, while the beginning in the film has a slow plot, it's the interactions between each of the main characters that make the second half so emotional. There's a pivotal event that occurs to Cleo that I won't go into detail about because of spoilers, but it progressively gets worse and worse throughout the film, and each time we realize what is happening, I just kind of sat there thinking, damn, that's messed up. But when the climax of this event happens, somewhere around the hour 30 minute mark, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm not gonna lie. This scene was extremely uncomfortable to watch. I I cried, like it was, it was hard to watch. The subject matter surrounding it was very intense, and having it happen to this character that we've grown to kind of grow up with over this year in the movie, it, it made it even more intense. Roma allows you to be an avid audience member to Cleo's life. We never hear her thoughts. In fact, she doesn't even have that much dialogue throughout the entire film. It's all about observing the life of a maid in 1970 in Mexico City, the year where a massacre took place on the streets, which we even see a part of. It's not a happy story, but it's not necessarily a sad story either. 
It's this slice of life with very bitter moments, some redeeming moments, and even at times a few funny moments. And all of this combined made it such an interesting film to me. I enjoyed Roma a lot. It's definitely the best film that I saw from 2018, and even one of the best films I've ever seen. Now, I can't personally say that it's a favorite of mine. I'm not 100% sure on that front because of its slow first half. It was a bit hard to get through, and I'm curious how a rewatch will alter my opinions on it. Will I find it easier to get through? Or will it feel much longer? Will the length matter a second time through? Because honestly, the length didn't bother me nearly as much as I thought it would. There are plenty of other movies out there that are just boring and uninteresting, and, and that is far from this. I might even find myself more connected to the characters a second time through. Either way, I'm looking forward to re-watching Roma. I definitely recommend watching it if you haven't already. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be the movie that wins Best Picture of the Oscars this year. It better not be... We'll just, uh, we'll leave that one for later. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on Roma are, the best pictures. I'm going to be talking about all of them this week. So get hype. It's best picture week, everybody. Woo! Anyways, go ahead and subscribe for more Everyday Nerd, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.